Oh, okay. Well, I got them all, it looks like. It kind of does remind me of flower, yeah. It's kind of, it's got like a flower, sound shapes, like just like a couple different games vibe to it, which is not a bad thing. It's actually really good. It's not too bad at all. Where are we now? Oh, now where are we? Okay. Just in a random place. Oh, it's a kite! I could be like you! I could fly! Where are you going? Bed. Oh, you're going to bed. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Well, the food is done. It's already packed away for tomorrow lunch. Alright. I'll see you in a little while. Well, you'll be asleep by the time I come in, but still. Let's see what's down here. Anything? It's a very cloudy world. Oh, wow, they grabbed onto the things and flew away. Woohoo! I'll give them a hand. Yay! I keep trying horror games and psych myself out to play them, but have to put down the controller after two hours and never play it again because they're terrifying. Yeah, for me, I can only, um... Like, I played Outlast, and I played Outlast the whistleblower, and I was able to do them both, but I could only do them in segments. That's kind of like basically with this game. It's like I can only do it in a segment. So if and when you know when this game comes out and everything like that, I will more than likely play because I love horror games. But it's gonna have to be in segments. I can't do a full horror game straight on. And I love horror games. I really do. I'm getting thrown around the world. Sixteen worlds in this thing, huh? That's a lot of worlds to play around with. What's this? Can you do anything with this thing? I'm not gonna lie. It looks like, um... It looks like something you smoke. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Kinda does though. It's like this is where the sound shape part feels like it comes in. Amnesia the Dark Descent was the last scary game I gave up on. Oh. Yeah, I heard that game was pretty messed up. But pretty cool to say the least. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just doing it. And we'll see what the results are. That's what this game is. It's a lot of, like, try something and see what the results are. I think that's exactly what they meant as they said. They said, basically, play like a playground. I can do just scares, but when there's a lot of buildup, I get very scared. Yeah, well, that thing had a lot of buildup. And the fact, like, it literally was, like, you would try to figure out what to do, and then you would, like... Like, they would put you in that, like, we were in that bathroom area and stuff like that. And there was, like, they cut to shut the door and, like, nothing was going on. And you were, like, you were, like, literally getting, like, to the point where you're, like, okay, is something going to happen here? And then they decide to, like, do something. Like, someone comes and tries to open the door or do something interesting like that. It was, like, oh, okay, that's, that, you know, that was interesting. I don't know what these things do. Oh, hello. Oh, I gotta make you fly away. Fly! Let's see where she goes. Kinda curious. Yeah, I hear you say Silent Hill games, at least the first ones, are all about tension. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. They like pop into something. Let's see, where are you going? Where are you going? Do you have a destination? I'll bring you a destination. It's just gonna keep flying up in the air. Let's see how high we can go. Come on, I'll go with you. Take a ride in the Magical Mystery Tour! Oh, let's go over and see the Kite Man. Kite Man! Bye, lady! Have a nice flight, wherever you're going. That is why I can't do roller coasters. The slowing going uphill scares me too much, but the fall doesn't. It's weird. Yeah, for me, it's, a, it's the opposite. It's the fall that kills me. Because I'm not a big fan of heights, so the fall just absolutely... Oh, hello. Oh. I got friends. Come on, jump on. I will take you on this magical mystery tour. God, I want to sing that song so bad right now. <laughs> it just feels like it needs to be sung. It just feels like it. I don't know what it is. I have more here, maybe. Come on, jump on. I got plenty of room for all of you. Go away. Go away. Oh! Okay. Ah! And what are we gonna do with these things? You guys wanna grab one of those too? Oh, all right. Let's see. What happens if we open all these up? This is a really cool game. It really does remind me of something out of the Beatles. It really, it's just like... Oh, did something. I get another one. Maybe these guys are like farmers or something. Whoa! Hello, pretty lady. Hello. I gotta grab another one. Ready? I get it. There we go. Grab that one too. All right. Now we're talking, guys. Everybody, grab one. It must be fun to watch scary movies with. Actually, speaking of horror games, there's another horror game that's going to be coming out called Until Dawn. That's what I want to talk about tonight too. I want to talk about Gamescom. Did anybody got a chance to check out Gamescom and the different things that are going on? There's actually some, some pretty cool stuff. Hello, ladies. Let's see, can we make these? Can we make these kind of go where we want them to go? see much for the Xbox, but I definitely, I saw the PlayStation 4 one and stuff, and I'm telling you, Bloodborne, 
Oh my gods. It looks good. I cannot wait for Bloodborne. I gotta figure out where to take these things. We gotta like this now. Nah, definitely looks like we have to farm these. Oh, we missed that one. I did. Ah, all right. I gotta do it a little faster. It seems. All right, maybe not. Got it. Aha! All right. Very, I will cringe all the way until the jump scare, but I have little to no reaction to the actual scare. Okay. Dark Souls with guns. It'll be awesome. Demon Souls, since it was from the original developers. Yeah. The Victorian, that Victorian Gothic setting looks absolutely amazing. I don't know what this is doing, but I'm going with it. Looks like I still gotta get one more of these, like... This almost looks like peppers, actually. Maybe that's what these things are. Maybe they're peppers. Let's see. Scary video games will get me. I'm a chicken. <laughs> Movies don't really do it. Yeah, there's a cool game coming out for the PS4 until dawn, actually. Uh, which is a gonna be a scary game. It's a... Uh, it's a choice and consequence game, I guess, and it's uh... There's like eight teenagers go to a cabin in the woods. Perfect setting. And you get to choose like kind of like what they decide to do and stuff like that. And then it determines on who's going to live, who's going to die type scenarios. So it's going to be quite interesting, but it's supposed to be based like off of basically like a horror movie type deal. All right, I figure out where we're going to farm these things. Gotta be a place where these things go. Let's see. In here, maybe? Nope. All right. Let's take a look around. But the jump scares in the game you played got to me, which surprised me. I need to find a good PC horror game. Uh, Outlast. Outlast and Outlast Whistleblower. Best PC horror game I ever played, or best horror game I ever played. It's on the PlayStation 4, it's on the PC. Alright, let's see here. Where do these go? We're gonna find out. They get planted, maybe? No? Yeah? Okay. Oh, there's the last one. So I think that's the last one. Oh, no, not the last one yet. Get on. Oh, you too. All right, get on. That means we gotta find the rest of them then. They're kites! What? That's insane! They're kites! I might get the PS4 sometime though. It is really, it's a fantastic machine. Oh wow, they really are, they're kites. This is where the sound shape part feels in, because it's like every time you do something, the music gets like more. They like add more music into it. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I give, I mean, you know, I give credit where, well, I mean, I, um, don't get me wrong. I'm never, I'm not a fanboy or anything like that. I just think the PS4 has a great the, the situation. And the biggest thing about PS4 that I've always liked is that I've always felt that they've been very in, uh, innovative. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, this is awesome. I just love all these kites in the sky. This looks amazing. Oh, one of the kites is actually one of, uh... Oh, that's what it is. It's a story of how these things become Zachariah. Oh, so they all have names. Ah. Aha. What time is it? 11.38? Perfect time to start something new. And now I've got Zachariah. Hey, buddy! 